Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh, your extremely, extraordinary, wonderfully handsome science teacher. And in this video, we are going to talk about how speed, nope, I lied. We're going to talk about how energy can be transferred from one object to another. <music> Energy, which is the ability to do work, a fancy, sciencey definition, the ability to do work. It just means that it is the uh, super secret sauce that lets objects move around. Okay, Energy cannot be created and it cannot be destroyed. That means that all of the energy that exists right now in the universe has always existed and will always exist. We can't create any more and we can't destroy it. We can only change its type, its form. And, uh, but here's the deal then, if how is that the case then if like a baseball is m sitting on a table or it's sitting in a bag before the baseball game, and later it's flying through the air. How did it, if you can't create energy, how did the baseball get the energy? Because clearly when the baseball was sitting in the bag, it didn't have any energy. It was just sitting there, right? And then all of a sudden later, it's flying through the air. So then it has energy. And then later it's caught by someone in their, uh, their glove and it's not moving anymore. So it doesn't have energy anymore. Didn't we create energy? Didn't we destroy energy? Aren't, doesn't that prove that all the scientists are wrong? Well, the answer is no. The scientists are right, at least in this case, although it's okay to think scientists are wrong, by the way, because that is what science is. Science is the process of questioning everything. But in this case, uh, the scientists are not wrong. The energy, we're not creating energy and we're not destroying energy. Instead, we're moving it from one place or one object to another and changing forms of energy. Okay, so if I take, there's a game, it's called pool or billiards. Maybe you've seen a pool table. And in this game, there are uh, balls that you put out on the pool table and like a triangle shape and then you hit them. Uh, with a cue ball and they all go flying. Where does the energy in the pool balls come from? Did the cue ball, which is the white ball, did it just get its magically invent its energy out of thin air? Or did that energy come from somewhere? Well, obviously the energy came from somewhere, right? It came from the player who took a... a pull stick. And is that what they're called? I'm not a pull player. I do not. I actually have played pull, uh, but I don't remember what they're called. Anyway, the stick and you, uh, the player hits the cue ball and it rolls down the table. The energy in the cue ball came from the stick and the energy in the stick came from the arms of the player. And the energy in the arms of the player came from their muscles. It came from the food that they ate, which was converted from stored energy and food into mechanical energy, which we'll talk about in another video. But at no point did we actually create energy. We simply convert, changed its type, and we transferred it from object to object. The energy went from the arms of the player into the uh Pull stick. It went from the stick into the cue ball, the white ball. It went from the white ball into the colored balls, and then they absorbed it, and they took that energy and flew outward in all kinds of different directions. One example of this that is very famous is a Newton's cradle. A Newton's cradle, invented by Isaac Newton, it's named after him, 
shows how energy can be transferred from object to object back and forth through different objects. And when the energy gets to the last ball, the ball flies up and out and then back and then it goes back to the other side and it goes up and out and back and forth and back and forth, transferring energy from one object to a another. So while it is true that it is impossible to create energy, impossible, but it's more fun to say impossible. It's impossible, which is not a real word, uh, but I'm not a language arts teacher, so I'm allowed to make up words. It's impossible to create energy. We can, however, transfer energy from one object to another. We can take some of the energy that's in the universe right now and we can use it. We can transfer it from one thing to another so that we can do work. Uh, I don't know that playing pool technically counts as doing work, but you use your energy to rake the leaves in your backyard or whatever the work you are doing is. Even homework requires energy. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes, all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your uh, your science student. So sign up, subscribe to the channel, and I release lots of videos. Also, in addition to these ones, lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics. Those ones you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted. And those ones are scripted, so you don't have to hear me like you are right now going blah, blah, blah. The end. Uh, subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.